The next department that we want to talk about is the health club and spa. In the usually the health club and spa is prescribed as one department. However, it may depend on the hotel how the spa and uh, health club is being managed. So if the health club and spa has different managers are managing separately, the location is different, the way of working is different, then it can be a separate P&L altogether. However, if they are sharing the manager, sharing the people, sharing the pantry expenses, then the, the, the P&L can be combined. So it depends on how the hotel is managing. However, let's look at the line items. So the line items here will be massage and body treatment revenue. So if the, the, the massage of the massage or the body treatment is being done in health club, it will go to health club revenue if the hotel health club has a separate P&L. However, otherwise it will go to the spa revenue. Now it depends on who is going the services, who is doing the services. If it's done by health club staff or it's done by the spa staff. So usually the revenue will be taken by the person where the cost of that person is incurred. If the P&Ls are separate, if the P&Ls are combined, then you don't need to have worry about where, uh, who is doing the spa because the revenue will go to the particular department. So the, the spa revenue is deriving into four main parts here. Mas uh, massage revenue, so it can be traditional massage, therapy, uh, oil massage, dry massage, couple massage, Swedish or whatever type of massage the, uh, the hotel is doing, it will go into this line. Then you have skin care expenses. So skin care means your facials, your waxing, your uh, any other uh, skin care that you are doing, glowing or uh, or any other thing that you are doing for the for the, the customers then it will go to the skin care revenue hair care maybe shampooing cleaning styling coloring chemical treatments it will go to the hair care revenue sometimes the hotel has a separate saloon where or, or maybe operating saloon or is a third party saloon so the they may not have a much of hair care expenses hair care revenue but if they have it go to this line then you have manicure, pedicure, or any other nail art or nail cleaning, nail champ, nail uh, nail sizing. Uh, those type of expenses will go into the nail care expense, nail care revenue. Then the next line item, mostly related to the health club, is the fitness revenue, where you are you may be charging the fitness revenue from personal training, membership, or uh, fitness evaluation or exercise class you are doing. Usually, the health club will have all the uh, hotel guests are able to use the health club services free of cost. They don't have to pay anything. However, they have to pay for the personal training expenses or the exercise classes if they are paid. Some classes are free. So those there is no revenue for them. However, if the hotel guest is using the, the services of the staff, then it will go to this line item. Then you have health and wellness revenue, which is uh, used for medically supervised services nutrition class, wellness consultant, wellness programs, uh, which can be a package. So it may be a package, a wellness package can be uh, inclusive of uh, f and of a room and the wellness, here, wellness program here. So the overall cost will be divided into multiple departments where they are going the revenue from. If the wellness program only includes the, the wellness, the nutrition uh, and the consulting, then the revenue will come here, but if it includes FNB as well, then the revenue will need to be allocated back to the revenue department, uh, the, the FNB department. So it will not be happening that the revenue will come to health and wellness and the cost of FNB will charge to this department. It will not happen. Then you have membership revenue, which is charged from the outsider, uh, outside customers who are coming to use the, the facility of the health club where they have to pay a monthly fee or an annual fee or a day pass or uh, any other fee or a uh, guest fees or uh, or any other fee that they they have to be to pay to continue become a member of the health club uh, usually when if let's say you have a lifetime membership you have to allocate it every year maybe in uh, a full installment maybe for a period of five year ten year depending on the policy if it's uh, if it's an annual membership, then you have to divide by 12 to get every month. Uh, you have retail revenue where you may be selling the any other items in the health club or in the spa 
so it can be apparel can be gift can be accessories uh, can be sundries can be the sunshine can be the, the water bottles or the t-shirts or the shoes or the socks whatever you have in that department will be selling so again uh, if the items are on consignment only the net revenue will come here but depending on who exercise the the, the pricing so that have you have to be very careful in that and if the hotel uh, is keeping the control of these items then the revenue will come here and there will be a cost of retail other revenue means any other service charge or an hour is that the company that the hotel is collecting from the customers and then you have allowances as you so the, there's a total uh, health and club revenue so that's for health club now the cost for health club the cost of sales for health club will be the cost of retail and also the uh, the cost of retail of the department cost of chemical which is used for the uh, products then that will be considered as cost of sale cost usually the cost of chemicals which are used in the treatment and also the cost of merchandise that we are selling cost of retail that will be considered as cost of sales uh, then you have the other line items which are similar so we will not go over them uh, unnecessary we will look at the next department in the next video